Now, here's an interesting story. Scientists have discovered a way to have a baby without a biological mother. Yes, that is correct. So using human skin cells are then injected into a donor egg before it is then fertilised by another man. So this theory then allows two men to have a baby without any DNA from a woman. Now, the research does say that it needs to have investigated a little bit more before they go and do clinical trials. Um, but I just wonder, guys, First of all, why are scientists even looking into this as a, an option? But mm. it just feels a little bit strange. I don't know how ethical something like this is, but it just feels a little bit strange <sighs> that it's the DNA of two men to have a baby without a female. Look, it could be, because I suppose the, the legitimate medical argument for it is that if you have a woman who is infertile, you could take her egg and then take a bit of her skin and modify the egg with the DNA to potentially make it a viable egg that, that, that she could carry, right? Um, so you start out with that and then you potentially look at the idea of, well, do we then say that if someone wants to donate an egg and, and then you can implant a bloke's DNA, replace the DNA in that egg with a bloke's DNA from his skin and then take another bloke's sperm and fertilise it, well, all of a sudden you've got gay couples having kids and, and you know, all, all sorts of strange stuff. I, I get why they're doing it, a bit like I get why they do brain chips, but if you follow it to its conclusion, you end up in a dark place. A very, very dark place. And the reality is, even if you can have an embryo that is the, the DNA of two men, you still need a woman to carry that baby. Mm. So you still either need a commercial surrogate, which opens you up to a lot of human trafficking concerns and ethical issues, or you need a female who is willing to do it for you benevolently or voluntarily without payment. In any case, you need a woman. You cannot erase women from childbearing. And it's just, I mean, this is the progressive side of politics, continually erasing and undermining women, whether it's women's spaces, women's rights. Now, women's role in childbearing, it's disgusting, it's horrible, it's playing God, and it's not going to end well. And think about those children that could potentially be born as a result of this. How do you explain that to them? Oh, yeah, you're actually biologically two men, but a woman then had to carry you because we implanted the embryo. So technically, she is sort of your mother, but not really. Like, this is not natural, this is not normal, and it, it shouldn't be normalised. And, and I think the, the regulatory guardrails around this stuff has to happen before any further mm. research goes on. Because, uh, you know, the, just look at AI, for instance, where they went hell for leather with no regulatory guardrails whatsoever, and then you create something that just cannot be regulated. So if you don't get on top of it now, then there is no hope of doing anything about it. Because science and, and medicine, of course, is going to continue down the line of doing these things. They're going to investigate everything they possibly can. But if you don't put any rules in place, it'll all get out of hand before you can And it's do big anything. money for them as well. Course, I mean, but the fertility does, industry, big, big money at but stake. But it does solve the problem, though, for women that are too old to have babies because they mm. no, no longer have eggs. It could, yeah, yeah. So that is that is a solution for... Uh, uh, indeed, and, and, and these are the, the potential benefits, right? Mm. But you, you, you can't or just Or you've go... had cancer and you no longer mm. have yeah. eggs. Yeah. But yeah. benefits at what cost? And a lot of the time there are other factors going on that mean women have delayed having children because they were told by our culture it's not a good thing to do. There are many other factors sure. that we can address before we start... Uh, creating <laughs> eggs with male DNA. Yeah, I, I, well, yes, I wouldn't be putting another bloke... If, if you were a woman who wanted a child, I wouldn't be seeking two fellas to uh, <laughs> to have you, the DNA. Why not? So, <laughs> and, well, I mean, you'd prefer your own, wouldn't you?